What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. <laughs> All right, <laughs> BFFs, we finally have her in our studio here. Dixie, welcome. Thank you. You said you were nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, you said you were so scared. I'm very nervous. Why? I don't know. You guys scare me sometimes. We've already... <laughs> my memory, I'm, I'm losing my memory. We've had you on here. Mm -hmm. I've been on your show that mm -hmm. you were doing. So I, you know, Josh, you said you yeah. love Brie. So mm -hmm. I, I Thank like, you. yeah. Love you too. <laughs> what? So I don't know why there would be any nerves. Any fear, I don't know. I feel like always all. something happens when this show happens. So I'm like, well, it's about him. It's about yeah, Josh. Luckily, like, Josh. I mean, don't worry. I'm going to take the, the brunt. So. Well, of this actually, I no, <laughs> I shouldn't say that because you have relationship drama or if you're in a relationship or we don't really know so we'll get to that after. all right we'll sail okay. on that ship together yeah we'll so, on that ship so together, we have Lucy. drama to like pass around i guess a little bit um oh, yeah. so we talked about it a little bit yesterday but now what is going on with like you and nessa can we just get an update like i saw a video that um i almost called him kaigo um kaya Keo. Keo made with <laughs> yeah. his girlfriend, and he's like, the things I can do when my girlfriend's getting ready to go out, and he slipped in, watch Josh and Nessa get back together. Like, that was in uh, his video. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that. He was trying to, you know, get a little piece of the cloud, I think. So what is going on? Yeah, so, I mean. You could be honest. We're all best friends here. We all are best friends here. And by that the way, true. just again, to preface it, apparently you tell Brie things that you don't tell me. No, no, no. I can't talk to you, Josh, with a straight face. First of all, I'm mad. Let me give you the background, Cindy, real quick. This podcast started. Josh, do you know Josh at all? No. So he's like a TikTok dude. And he was dating <laughs> and he was dating this girl, Nessa, also TikTok. They were like on our podcast in the very beginning. Oh. Had a very bad breakup. His uh his roommate one of his best friends like i've actually heard about this who hasn't yep, heard about big. it right so fast forward i don't know eight <laughs> months and now nessa the girl broke up with this kid Jaden, and josh is re-hanging out with nessa this just okay. became news because they were seen together all over the internet like yesterday spotted so everyone was blowing me up being like Talk about your boys, hang out with the girl that caused all this drama. And then before you sat down, Bree is like, I've known about it for two weeks, oh. which is infuriating <laughs> week. to me that Bree. all this is going on. <laughs> well, I didn't tell anyone until it came out. Why am I even doing this podcast if I'm getting no information? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Bree's exaggerating here. I said one she week, one week, one week. Ne me and Ness only hung out yesterday. Bullshit. We we went on a dog walk. Mm -hmm. You've been it hanging like out. A, Brie we, literally we've been talking for two weeks. Correct. And Brie knew. No, no, no. One. <laughs> uh, one. So it was one week. It was one week. It was one week. There's a lot of lying going Bree, on. Brie yeah. knew last week at time of recording. I know that. No, I didn't know at time of recording. Yeah, you yes, did. No, I didn't. And he called me oh, after. Shit. No, Everyone, no, no, no. She didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Because I, I talked didn't. to her after the party. You called me after. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Brie knew that you guys saw each other at a party. Yeah, but they they just saw each other. When do we see each other? My party? point is, yeah. what are we doing this podcast for if you guys are keeping information? And by the way, why would you let someone else break it not on this podcast? Okay, so first of all, it wasn't like I intended for a random person to take a photo of me when I was walking with Ness and like on a little dog walk talking or whatnot. So it wasn't like a... I feel like people think it's like a bigger deal than it really was. It was really she just like wanted to talk. And Cindy, like can I ask you a hypothetical? Yeah. If you were dating somebody, yeah. had this explosive breakup that like, we literally broke YouTube. That's how many people are listening. And then you restart to hang out with this person. Would you say it's just a casual dog walk or there's probably more to it? I kind of believe it's just a casual dog walk. Just get out of here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What, what, what world casual are we living dog in walk. here? I think the well, it wasn't the like I mean, might have been casual and just made be made more dramatic over social media. So the what the breakup? The breakup. No, the breakup. That's why they're probably gonna make this and the breakup a was bigger deal. The breakup. Was I mean, no, explosive. yeah, I've actually heard. Yeah, no, the, yeah, the breakup yeah. was breakup was, was a lot. Breakup was quite far from casual, but the the dog walk. What I mean. So how the dog I mean, walk like, go? It was how to go? What you guys? It was kind of like just talking about. It was talking about like where everything went wrong or just like to get closure, I guess is like the better word yeah. for it. 
It was okay. like to get closure on the, the, the situation. All right. We'll That's for sure. Get her on. I had to bring it up. I'm sorry. Say we'll get it. Now. I mean, I think we now. can. We can get her on. I'm sure. Yes, it let's get her on the podcast. I said that last yeah. week. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working, <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay. I'm working on it. Okay. It's a process here. That's All what right. the dog walk was for. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like Mo- breaking bread. Yeah. It was disappointing to see that 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 it was broken on the internet. Disappointing to hear that Bree knew all along, and I was just like, "What am I even doing?" It's like we're trying to get news and we have all the news here and no one's telling me it's like get guys walking back around it's like just dave's out out of the loop he's just totally out of the loop that's fine um no i mean i mean i guess i don't know you know remember remember when like we first talked about the Jaden and nessa shit and it was on the podcast and i was like guys if this shit is real this shit is yes can you not hear him at all so you were just listening to blank dixie can't hear you oh oh okay so let's do we want to fix that Oh. oh, I'm wearing the wrong one. Oops. How long? Imagine we went how long I did. I was like, how Imagine are you guys the whole episode went on like that. Yeah, that would have been like, embarrassing. <laughs> fix it in post. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can fix it. All right. Just pretend. Can you yeah. hear now? Yeah, Josh? I can. Hey. Okay. okay. You, you hear me? It. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. All right. I mean, pretty much we what need I was like a little clock on that. How long she was going to go? I saw you looking around. Don't be that nervous. You haven't mentioned must much yet. So, anyways, go ahead. Continue what your G was. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't said much. Yeah. I mean, remember when we first talked about this on the podcast, uh, and I was like, if this shit is real, then I'm going to be on Demon Time. I, that's just essentially what I guess I'm doing now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't so know I just I told everyone. Just, I gave everyone a warning. Yeah. It's, it, was, it was a year and a half ago I gave the warning, and now this is that's what Josh is doing now. I, for one, would like to see you two back together. <laughs> is that a possibility? Oh, wow. Me too. Is that a possibility? I mean, I don't think I've thought of that even, so... Uh, you you definitely thought him. about it. Yeah, he definitely has thought about it. Not one okay. thought. You're hanging out. You hung out with it. Curtis last night. I know you talked about it. Who's Curtis? Oh, get your head out of your ass, Dixie. <laughs> You're Who telling me you didn't talk, talk about, about it? Who is Curtis? <laughs> Curtis Newbill. He's like he's like a friend of me and Dixie's and everyone, I guess, really. Like, okay, so, I mean, she's right, though. You've definitely thought about it. You were hanging out with her. I don't, so, I mean. You answered the question, so you've clearly thought about it. I, I don't I don't think that you don't think on much? my mind right now. Yeah, I don't think much. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think a lot. No, uh I don't think we're gonna get back together. No. So what was the conversation like when you were like you know, obviously I get that some of it's like probably meant to be pro I'm looking at the I'm see, as I'm going through our sheets here, I just got stopped in my tracks. Nessa's oh, matching you? ring with Josh is back on. Fans speculate that the video <laughs> Ness is wearing um, the matching ring her and Josh got together. Josh. Okay, guys. So we don't know this is the ring I got her. We don't know that. You don't know That's what ring fact. you got her? I find that well, like pretty hard to believe. Well, no. I'm just saying it's a silver fucking ring. There's a lot of silver rings. Well, no, so, like, uh, yeah, we got a pretty good close up right there. Yeah. All right. Well, that. What's the other? Can I get the side by side? No, that's what she's wearing. That's the, and the other ones on the sheet. Wait, yeah, I don't think they're the same. They kind of look the same to me. Wait, no, that's what she's wearing right the there. Yeah. Recent. Yeah. You don't know if that's the ring you got her. Of course, I don't that's think it is. That's a pretty distinctive ring. I don't think it is. I think that's a different, like mm-hmm. a different ring, than the one I got. I got like the Gucci Ghost ring or whatever. I don't think that's that. Don't think. Don't think. Yo, That's not a don't I, know. I literally, I just have a screen of three people. <laughs> just right like, I like being on this side. Yeah, <laughs> it's tough. I mean, Josh follows Nessa's manager. So, all right, it, Josh and Nessa hang out. That's the let Josh talk to paparazzi, saying him and Nessa talk for closure. Yeah. So, all right, so you guys hung out that one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yep. Went for the walk. Yep. Yeah. That's a lie. You're lying. <laughs> How am I lying? It just it looked like a poker tell. Do you know, Brie? No. You're lying too. <laughs> Everyone's fucking lying. Do you know, know Dixie? Why, how would she? Uh, you, you think I didn't? Everyone learn my fucking lesson? knows except me. It appears. What's Dixie? I, I actually don't know. Dixie's anything. smiling like she. I don't knows. know anything. I don't. I sorry. I sorry. I sorry. I believe you. I don't know anything. I about literally it. don't. So then what? You guys are just friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, we're just like, or I don't know if like we're friends yet. I think it was just more of like a good talk to get, like I said, some closure and like put just shit in the past. Did we try to call her already? Did we do that? <laughs> like live? Yeah, call like her? on oh, speakerphone. 
No, we I haven't. I don't think you tried that. Do you mind doing that? Oh you my want God. me yeah, I don't have to <laughs> live call her. Just tell her she can hang up. Be like, Just say Dave, Dave wants has to requested talk to you. Yeah. a quick convo. <laughs> For the views, Josh. She may not pick I up. Just, you And you, yeah. I, before we say anything, be like, we are recording. You're on the air. I mean, I just, I've, I already asked her if she wanted to come on. And she was like, oh, I don't want to come on yet because I don't want uh, stupid drama, blah, blah, blah. So... I mean, this but she's it. in this. She like um, Tana and her are beefing. I mean, you guys, they broke up and you guys hung out within 10 minutes of them breaking up. So, I mean. That's not true. They've been broken up for like over a month. Well, wh when it went public, unless you've been hanging out. Yeah. Month, which I don't know because no one tells me anything. <laughs> no, no I mean, I mean, like, it's like they've been broken up. All right, she can hang just up. She, you can just call be like, where Dave has requested. I'm doing it. If you want to hang up, hang up. And, and if not, he's going to fire some questions. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say there's a gun to my head right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dave, is, Dave is making me do this. Hang up the phone, please. Nessa posts and deletes video people think is about John. I mean. that Yeah, but there's no proof that video is about me. Yeah. I don't know what the video is, but. Hey, hey, don't say anything stupid. Don't they say anything stupid. I have a gun pointed to my head right now, and I'm being forced to call you. While I'm live, you don't have to answer anything. You can hang up the phone right now if you want. But Dave has requested I called you. You gotta put her on speaker. I think she doesn't have service. That she oh, could be perfect. That'd be absolutely brilliant on her part if she yes. found the truth. <laughs> yes. What happened? Thank God. No service, Thank or did she hang God. up? Hung up. Oh. <laughs> she hung up. Tough. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> That's that's tough. Oh, all right. I, I mean, I don't. All right. I'm gonna say what I think. I don't believe anything you're saying. I think you guys have probably already hooked up. I think you're like rekindling, and I think that's what's gonna happen. I have no proof of it. No one tells me the truth. But that, if, if gun to head, that is what I would say is going on here. Yeah, that's a valid. Yeah, I'll that's just valid. I'll just stick with my original. That's what statement. it looks like. So you agree? With I gave everyone. Yeah, that's what a it looks warning. like. Dixie. I don't know, cause I do like I feel. I don't know. I feel bad for all of you, really, because it just sucks, like having like it all on the internet. Yeah. So I don't like. I don't yeah, it's like. The life I, we chose. I try. Correct. This it, is, that is true. The life we chose. And and it's not only the life we chose. Like let's just. But the relationship was on the internet. Let's just yeah, pick a guy. Like let's pick a relationship that rhymes with like Trixie and Deck or something. Like you guys. Ha a relationship like that mm -hmm. isn't like all the scandal and stuff going on it. That's been pretty straightforward. These guys are going right back into like we launched our show when all that shit happened. Yeah, the world blew up. Yeah, and it was brand new and we were so hard and now it's coming full circle. So, you know, they can't cry poor if they're hanging out together. They have to know people are going to go bananas if they're hanging out again. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking. I mean, I'm not over here like tearing up or nothing. No, no, I know. But you're not giving real answers either. He yeah. never does. I, I gave so my ever. answer. I gave my answer. I said, I said, yo, if, like, I gave the answer a year ago. I told everyone what I was going to do, and that's what I'm doing. What What has happened is Josh has wisened up. Like, we caught him in the beginning of the show, and he, I don't know if he even really knew me as well, but, like, he's much more guarded. I could get him mm -hmm. just to say whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 yeah. yeah. you used to now trick him he, into saying yeah, shit. Just say it, say it. Now he won't. Um <laughs> Moving along here, and this is still, I guess, Josie refollows Jaden after unfollowing the drama. Josie refollows him. You guys with the refollows, the unfollow. Ugh, can't do you do that? that? Crazy, do you unfollow right? someone when you don't like them anymore? Not, um, not anymore. I used to do that, but I just mute people. Oh, smart. But if I really like, you want it to be. Known. I block them. Yeah. Or I mute them. But like block is like for me. Like I only block people like I don't want to see. But I mute people so I can avoid that. And then. Sometimes I'll just like to get people's attention in like real life. Mm -hmm. I'll make them unfollow me, but that's just like for fun, not really for. Yeah, for drama. Yeah. I feel like you have elevated, and I could be wrong, but like you are, you guys really, people are speculating whether you guys are still dating, which I'm, we're going to point blank ask. And I asked you, and you just ghosted me, by the way. <laughs> I like did it live on, yeah, on the show too. <laughs> yeah, you totally ghosted. Um, you responded, and then when I asked the question, you went away. But I feel like the drama, you, you, there hasn't been as much with you and your sister, I feel like, lately. Mm -hmm. Like, it's more career stuff that we hear about. Yeah, feels great. I'm very happy yeah. that that's happening. Um, <laughs> sticking with the drama we have here, Landon Barker <laughs> releases a song. Uh, 
he wrote this song, Cuz We'll Never Talk Again. I went through your phone. I saw you were texting him. The audio at the start is Josie Canseco and she cheated on with Jim. What does that mean? That's the what is that? It's that like mean? an it's like an intro and it's like Josie talking. And then she said that she had absolutely have, nothing have, to do with him. Who sends voicemails? Oh. Yeah, okay. so Josie, stupid. right? Voice, that, that's what that's what I was wondering or too. Or maybe actually. it's like the voice like text. The like, oh, oh, I oh. hate people who do that. <laughs> that right. is awful form of communication. Write it, abs- write it out. Absolute like, pet what if I don't have headphones and I'm out and I gotta uh, listen to it? It's like Logan why? Paul so annoying. is an all time <laughs> voice memo guy. It drives me nuts. It's almost just kind of selfish. You it's know? just because oh, you're like it, yeah, expecting takes, the other person to do more it, work correct. than you are doing. Yeah. Because you're not yeah. typing shit. Not walkie talkies. This Messed is up. Phone. Yeah. Guys missed the best part of the whole song. You played like the just the start, eh? It's crazy. Damn. What? What? There's like a whole drop to it, and then he actually starts really singing. You know what I mean? And it gets kind of kind of a lot better. The I think we were he was playing. I think we were the focusing lyrics. on the drama part of it, not how good a landing uh, song it was. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I was supposed to be listening. I didn't to even lyrics. know who this person was till this whole drama came out. I mean, I who knows? I think I. So do we definitely know that's her voice though? Or people that seems like saying. a weird thing just to have offhand, but everyone's saying it's her. I, the other side to this, which again, I don't know who's telling the truth, is she's going to say that he he's doing this for like his career, 100%. like he's creating like publicity around the whole thing because no one we like we're playing his. No song. one's ever talked more we're, about we're Landon playing Parker his song that. because of that as opposed to the other. So who knows? But it's uh, what what are we gonna we, are we gonna have this Landon kid come on the pod or what? I'm down. We asked him. All right, and what he said. What do you, I, yeah. He said he wants to put it all behind him. Well, that doesn't yeah. really seem like putting it behind yeah, him. Yeah, he just put yeah, out he's a making song, a whole song all about out there. It. Would you do that? You're like in the music business. If Would you use Scandal to like get people to listen? That's exactly what I've tried not doing with like everything. I mean, we'll probably talk a little bit about it, but with my like album, I've made it very clear. It's not about current relationships or any. I've had 18 years of my life of relationships and growing up before anyone knew who I was. So nothing on my album has to do with anyone anyone knows why because oh well it's not for that i don't right need but you you would use relationships for like inspiration for songwriting no mm-hmm, but you, i've had like taylor swift mm-hmm. like obviously like one of the great like singer songwriters she's a new of doctor our generation yeah. yeah yeah but like notorious for just writing about like famous exes basically right yeah but i feel yeah. like i'm at a transition point right now where i'm trying to develop myself as an artist and be taken seriously. And I feel like if I was like, is this song about Noah Beck? Like it just wouldn't, yeah. mm, it would bring me back. It would take me back a couple steps. So I feel like I've tried to make that very clear that this is for me and like things I want to write about, but it's not anything. You've only had two public relationships too. Mm-hmm. So you've had more before that. Yeah. I've had a couple boyfriends. Yeah. A couple <laughs> boyfriends. All right. A couple boyfriends. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're not that old, so how many can you actually have, right? Oh. <laughs> what? Like one, I think. Yeah, other? that's about right. Yeah. Yeah. So like three. Then like flings, but yeah, do we even count? Yeah, but you can uh, probably no, write about do them. We count yeah, I mean, what's that's name as a full blown relationship. Who? Not not Noah. Um, Griffin. Griffin. I mean, he asked me out. We dated for I how think. long? I think we ended up actually dating for like. I have no clue. It was like a good. It wasn't a short. We were okay, together. We were together for a long time, but we like, didn't like, like start yeah, dating. Year? Like year plus. Like type? Se- I have no. Okay. Clue. Like seven at least months? at least seven months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, um, that's, oh, Thomas Petro de- defends hype house girls. Uh, Thomas Pe- Petro got into a fight with a forty-year-old couple. 
after they were apparently taunting Hype House members out of jealousy, after they assaulted one of the Hype House girls, Thomas came to their rescue. What the, what? It's like a superhero. What are we talking about? (laughs) Yes. So apparently from what I've heard in this situation, they had this like couple come up to them and start just like yelling at them because of like whatnot Hype House stuff. I think they might've both been speeding too on the road and then they like got cut off. Um, But they ended up getting stuff thrown at Thomas's car drunk woman went up to her boyfriend started threatening Mia and then the woman took Tabitha who's a girl from the SWAT or from the hype house took her to the ground uh, and then the boyfriend climbed on top of Tabitha as well to put her in a chokehold and then Thomas uh, dragged him off and are you just reading like, this or like you know this no I know I, I was partly reading it but I also knew oh, it. like it. I was told it by them like the other day or like some people from that Tabitha also like posted a video on her story the woman like kicked was trying to kick Tabitha in the head but a woman was like holding her because she I guess hit her head first so she was holding her on the ground and then the woman kicked the other woman that was holding Tabitha in the head For like it was why were they beating these because they knew up? they were like hype house and they're like social media blah, 40 blah, blah. year olds versus yeah, like get a wife that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, that is. Very nuts. Imagine being 40 years old and being involved in TikTok drama. <laughs> I don't, yeah, but I won't throw any punches to try to kick anybody, Austin. Dave's a pacifist. Pacifist. Yeah, I've never been in a fight in my life. I know. I'm on the other way. And I'm getting better at not getting too deep into the drama, I feel like. Sort of trying ah. to. <laughs> Why? You had to pull back, you, you think? Well, I, at some point, you're you got to remember. It's it. like, oh, man, it's like. I mean, the Josh stuff happens so fast. My personality is always like knee jerk, defend yeah. who I'm with. But then it's like, I mean, how old is Nessa? She's she was born in the same year as me. She's like an O two. I think she's nineteen or twenty. I like the way you figure that out. <laughs> oh <my laughs> like, all right, yeah. So everyone's <laughs> young. I mean, I gotta remember yeah. that shit. Um, Karina Conf banned on Twitch. She tweets that she was banned off Twitch for a day for inappropriate attire. Although she was fully, wait, we're talking about her being banned for one day. Banned for a day? Is that what this says? Who cares? Yeah, she's, yeah, she's like, back on. Yeah, all right. Who cares? But why did she randomly get banned if her tits are always out? That doesn't really make sense. I've heard some crazy uh, numbers how much money she makes on... Oh, Twitch? Only, yeah, it's only insane. Fans. Oh, OnlyFans. Too, I heard, yeah. like, pff, crazy numbers. Probably, like, what kind of numbers? Of millions. Like, millions. Like, millions. I think probably, like, 10 million in a year. Millions, say, millions. Um, Cashing in. Taylor Holder talks to TMZ. Uh, he told TMZ saying no one said anything for him to defend and there's lots of talk of letters but those letters just mean let's really talk about this legally Taylor said everything is fabricated that it's a he said she said rumor Taylor said people came back to apologize but Taylor showed them his proof there's nothing Taylor's wait Taylor said everything is fabricated that it's a he said she said rumors Taylor said people came back to apologize but Taylor showed them his proof. So he's just individually showing people proof, but not like. I hate anything. this guy. He's the- <laughs> I seriously hate this guy. Bad vibes all around. Yeah, I, I met him. Like I liked him when I met him. I met mm. him through Josh. I um, felt like he's like secret. You didn't bad. think he was normal when we interviewed him. Uh, he has this front of being very godly and like. Doesn't God drink. Will doesn't. Bring yeah, yeah, I've heard yeah. that. And well, he it's it's not a front. He says it. He does say it. But it's yeah. not he true. He says it. Yeah. yeah. But not true. I don't know. Doesn't seem to. And I don't know true. if he's kind of laid off that front a little bit for all this. Something clearly went on. Um, who knows? Because the way he reacted to the whole thing, it, he, it, it's just shady and I, maybe nobody will ever Weird. know. Yeah. 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 Weirdo. All right, guys. Quick commercial break. So life is full of twists and turns, stress, changes, grief, moments of growth, and moments where we feel like we're taking a few steps back. And it's important to take care of yourself and especially your mental health. I know therapy can be a very scary thing. And sometimes you don't want to go in person. You don't want to sit on a couch. It's hard to get there. So BetterHelp is online therapy and it's here for the twist and turns and will assess you with all your needs and can match you with your own licensed professional therapist in less than 48 hours, which is awesome because booking a therapy appointment can be a very long process, not with better help, under 48 hours. So it's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online and the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You don't even need to turn the camera on if you don't want to. So if you don't feel comfortable, you can do a voice or you can turn your camera on whatever you're comfortable with. And it's also way more affordable than traditional offline therapy. So you can visit betterhelp.com slash BFF. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, and join the over 2 million people who have taken change of their mental health with the help of experienced professionals. Let's get back to the show. 
Um, Kendall can't cut cucumbers. Kendall Jenner <laughs> goes viral after an episode of Kardashian Air. She was seen cutting a cucumber, seemingly clueless, admitting she's bad at cutting. Chris Jenner called their chef to come help. You know, I see your chef that you make cry all the time. <laughs> I do. He's like I saw that at Coachella. Days. Yeah, that, he's everywhere. Yeah, he he's was at that. Coachella. Mm-hmm. He That's was like, funny. hey, if you guys want to come back, get he, some He's food. everywhere. He's at every big event that you go to. He's there. No, he's like amazing. Is, he, is he chefing up at every big event, mm-hmm. Dave, or is he just at the event? I, I see him. Chef? He may he be chef. I've never seen him chefing. He's just, I mean, I saw him at the Guy Fieri-like thing. I, I've seen him ah. probably six times. Ah. Not necessarily cooking. I think he's just like Chilling? a celeb. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. he has yeah. like a show. That makes sense. We interviewed Maybe him. Ever since, yeah, ever since Dixie one of made the him only cry, BFFs he never step back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was long. It was a little bit long. Yeah. One of two. Um, do we do we care that she can't cut, cut a cucumber? Do I bet we, she was high I, or something. Yeah. Something. Like, All right, she, let's see it. Let's see it. If it's on here, let's see if it's worthy of talking about. People are freaking out Or just out like it. getting nervous in front of the camera. I feel yeah. like I would do something. Kendall Jenner gets nervous. The chef to make you a snack. I'm making it myself. Gotta chop up some cucumber. It's pretty okay. easy. You go, girl. Are you cu- cutting a cucumber. Be careful, because I cut. I nipped myself the other day. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. There you go. Don't cucumbers have seeds? Oh yeah, they're. They definitely. I'm not a good cutter, so don't zoom in on me. <laughs> I'm not professional whatsoever. Hey, chef. Do you want to cut this up for her? I'll do it, Mom. It's fine. Oh, someone's at the door. It's more, I think, that you got to call in a chef to cut yeah. a cucumber because a cucumber is probably top like it's just, you just cut the five cucumber. easiest <laughs> cuts, yeah. the easiest cut. But, but I mean, yeah. like she's never had to cut anything in her life, so I thought it was funny. I don't know. Everyone was like so upset about it. I was just like, oh. well, the Kardashians. Yeah, funny. That's the type of stuff that people go bananas when the Car- Kardashians yeah, say it. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty funny. This made me laugh. I don't like Kanye, um, but Kanye. <laughs> so Kim Kardashian after the. I assume it's Wall Street Journal Awards. Yeah. Um, said that, <laughs> told Kim, texted Kim and said, you look like Marge Simpson, your career is over. <laughs> yeah, it was like the first time she dressed <laughs> herself without him. <laughs> it's, I mean, I feel like she wears that shit all the time, yeah. though. Like, he would put her in that. It's just a funny line to say to anyone. It's hilarious. Uh, Madonna did. That's awesome. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I haven't seen these. Madonna's own NFTs. It looks like she has bush growing out of her bush. Those are kind of sick. Those are crazy. <laughs> I kind of want nuts. The bids on the NFTs are over six figures so far. That's in NFTs are like dying. So that's pretty crazy. Nuts. Yeah, those are cool. Is it art or just weird? It's both. It's weird art. Yeah. Weird Madonna. art. Yeah. I feel like good art is weird. That's pretty Madonna esque though. I eh? to have a tree. Yeah, she's out of like your a vagina. sex symbol. Yeah. Yeah, like 400 grand, 135 grand. Jeez, Louise. She's popping off. What is it more money if you get more bush? More money per bush? The bigger the bush gets, the more it goes. Could be. That's that how makes that sense shit to works. Me. Yeah. Anna Wintour yeah. was asked for a uh, ID while attending an off-Broadway show. Um I mean Anna Wintour is like the devil loves Prada. She's the Met fashion lady. Yes. Mm-hmm. Have yes. you gone to that, Dixie? Yes. Did I you went. just get crucified? Yeah, but wait, I thought people liked yours. It was like back not and necessarily forth. the dress because For people going. because I was there. People yeah. not yeah. that's not you in particular. That's like that that for some reason when people deem like maybe social media, they go mm-hmm. crazy. It was like, the first time influencers were like invited. What'd right? you wear? Do we have it? I wore a black dress with like a giant feather. You can we pull it up? I think we saw it. I think yeah. We, it was what sick. year was it? Uh. 2021. It's not it was, the recent one. What happens before. there? Like, all right, we see you walk in, <laughs> oh. and, and then what? What exactly goes on? Um, Does it suck dinner. once you're inside? I was really nervous because, like, that was the first like huge. Oh, event. that's fire! Isn't I've been that cool? to. Well, whose hat is that? It was all Valentino, and it was kind of like Audrey Hepburn inspired. Okay, it was American in fashion. So yeah. Who came up with that idea? Them? Uh, yeah. I had like a couple options, like the feather, the other look, like right next to it. That was my, like, that's what I was going to wear. Have, you, but have we people ended up switching done it. that with you before? The Aubrey Hepburn. I've never thought of that, but I could see like from there, like the that how well, they would go. Well, so that the angle. theme of the Met that year was American in fashion. So that's kind of like you, kind of make a story with the dress that or whatever you're wearing. So that was mine. Okay, so you get kind of, in, you do that, you do the pictures, you uh-huh. sit down, you eat, and that's it. He, there was a performance. Justin Bieber performed, which was like I've heard of him, crazy. Yep. What's the bath? Did you go to the bathroom where everyone hangs yeah, out? Yeah, it wasn't. 
I just had to pee. There was no one in there. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't that crazy. I feel like yeah. I was so nervous. I couldn't like do anything. I was sitting next to like Giveon and I was just like, hi. And then didn't talk. I was so nervous. I'd be so awkward. I, I don't know who that is. He, um, he's a singer. He has a song yeah. with Giveon? Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, a song You've probably Drake. heard him before. Giveon? No, I, maybe really I good. have heard. I, I don't know. I'm not. Anyways, moving along. Uh, Cara Delevingne, she's all over the place. She's in the news um, for a variety of reasons, I think. She was at the Billboard Music Awards. People believe she's a menace. And nearly everything about Cara at the awards has been driving people insane. She was Megan the Stallion. They, they were friends, though. Weren't they, like, hanging out the whole time? It was, like, uh, just weird. Something like that. It, it seemed a lot more one-sided, though. It seemed like <laughs> Cara really wanted to hang out with Megan. And Megan may not so much. It just didn't really make sense. And then, it looked like Megan like, was babysitting Look at this video. Her. It's, like... So cringe. But if she didn't want her there, wouldn't she be like, get out of here? Yeah, but it's just like, I don't know, understand why she was following her around like a personal hype man. And then she also was laying on the ground to take a picture of Doja Cat, <laughs> Fat Joe, and DJ Khaled. I love Fat Joe. Big Fat Joe guy? Love Fat Joe. Um, and then she's also in the news, Kara, because this is crazy, and it may be on here later, but she was having scheduled threesomes with Amber Heard and Elon Musk. That's crazy. What? Yeah. I didn't hear about that. Yes. And it's like... I did, I did hear about that. Scheduled yeah. threesomes? Yes. And Elon, like, was paying for Amber, like... What? A, it's crazy. That is absolutely That crazy. all came out in the trial. It, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's insane. So was it while Amber Heard was with Johnny Depp? <laughs> yes. There's like a picture of them, I believe, in like the elevators again. And I don't even know. We talked about this on the rundown. Like Elon Musk is not a good looking dude. Oh, no. I wouldn't want to partake. Well, but, but he's, he's Elon rich Musk. Dude. <laughs> yeah, but they're, they're rich. rich they're rich. But he's like the but richest Are you Elon dude Musk or, rich? Nobody's Elon Musk He's rich. like the smartest exactly. man in the world. Yeah. So we debated. Do you think they were getting like money or they just did it to like have scheduled threesomes with Elon Musk. Now they're all crazy. They're they, all crazy is what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, the crazies. Yeah. The, I yeah. think the crazies unite. And that, I mean, yeah, imagine say, that threesome. That'd be that's, crazy that's, threesome. I believe when they were together, Johnny Depp shows videos of Amber Heard cheating with Elon Musk and James Franco. Uh, oh, James Franco. Yeah. I'd rather threesome with him. <laughs> ah. Franco, yeah. I saw him walking the streets in New York one day. Good looking dude. Yeah. Kind of looked like dude. he just rolled out of like a trash can. That's but, kind of his thing though. Yeah. Yeah. He, <laughs> he did. He did. He Trash can esque. Oh, we got all the the looks here. Dixie, you're on there. Yeah, I was right next to the whole Megan the Stallion. Oh, were you thing. gonna pipe up and tell well, us I that? Don't know. I didn't, like, what the I heck? Moved Jeez. On. <laughs> I, I didn't think it was that weird because, like, Diddy kind of came out in the beginning of it. Is he was like, "We're gonna make this not boring, and it's gonna be a party." So everyone was like running around, like in between, like. Um, like during commercials, everyone was running around, going back and forth. So I didn't think it was weird, but from the videos, I was like, oh, I can see why everyone thinks it yeah, looks okay. crazy, but. That makes more sense. They were me. passing out bottles to everyone, like in the rows, like everyone was just having fun. So, so. it was like a planned chaos. See, that yeah. that makes more, because I don't think yeah. if Megan the Stallion did not want that, I, I think like, she would have yeah. been like, enough. Yeah, she would have been like, get away from me. I will say, I'll give you credit, Brie. Your Jack Harlow, since we've discussed him, has just been like on the biggest heater in the history of heaters. Yeah. He's like Told you. the number one it guy, really, right now, wouldn't you say? I mean, I've been yeah, telling Drake even t said like, yeah, he's next up, he's next up. It's kind of crazy. Um, so we're looking at all the looks. I don't think, well, she stands out. Is that Doja Cat with like the pointy boob thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's unique. I like your look. Thanks. What's yeah, that? Long hair looks good. Off white. <laughs> Big oh, off white. Are girl. you like no. sponsored by off white? <laughs> no, it was just trying to be sponsored by off white. I mean, that'd be cool, but it seems like you're making a move. Right? It's like <laughs> yeah, for real. Off white. Um, did you enjoy this? It was a lot of fun. I went with my dad. We just, it was chill. I announced Doja Cat's award, so it was fun. I was supposed to do it by myself. But they had to cut like a lot of the awards because people's speeches were like Too 15 long. minutes long. So I went with Dove Cameron and it was fun. Is it scary? Her to outfit do that? looks pretty fire. Dove Cameron's outfit looks pretty dope. Yeah, she looks. Oh cool. yeah, she looked amazing. Every it was like it was scary, but it was very quick. Yeah, I felt like I did good. 
<laughs> me and Paul, Gaz, yeah, sales guy, we hung out with Anita one night. She's like the most down to earth human of all time. She's so nice. So like we went to like eleven and party. Really? Was, yeah, she was just sweet. as down to earth. It she was already she has also blown up since that point. She was already huge. Like yeah, internationally. She's gotten bigger and bigger. She's, she's gotten huge. She was at Coachella. Yeah. Um, super nice, super nice. Uh, was that pre or post Griffin when you went to hang out with Anita? Pre. Pre Griffin. I yeah, I asked Griffin if he hooked up with Anita. He said no. <laughs> He's lying. He said well, you don't the, I thought you guys told the truth. His exact answer on on had I already brought that up? I there's just no way that He's gotta be lying. They were definitely seeing each other. No? I I asked him, I said heard you're hooking up with Anita he goes I thought BFS was the type of show that doesn't spread false information well Ooh. first of all we're just not that show sometimes we accidentally spread false information that's a, a not, decent not, purposely, not, purposely, not, purposely, not purposely not purposely not purposely, not, purposely, yeah. not, purposely. not at all nope. not at all but I just thought maybe maybe my memory is having like a, did, a lapse I don't, of why did you even say that though? you've never said that publicly I yeah. haven't no so we have never talked about that We've never talked about this? I feel like we must have talked about it. I feel it like you guys point. have talked about this. I don't know that we have. That's what I'm trying Griffin to figure Anita out. Griffin and Anita is definitely huh. not. There's the Griffin t with a maybe older lady, but not How old Anita. is Anita? I think she's 28 or 9. That DeMar oh, okay. one about a young TikToker with a famous, but that was not that was not Anita. So I, it's weird if Josh and you I You guys are just connecting talked about it. Yeah. No, because I know, where I, I know where I heard it, but I don't think I ever brought it up. I thought this was public knowledge. That's why I said it. So well, now sorry, you just Griff. aired it out, Griffin and Anita. Sorry, up. Griff, dude. I'm my bad, man. <laughs> I I don't think I don't think it's still going on. I think it was a thing of the past. Yeah. Mm. Do you want to call him? No, <laughs> no. Do we do a double call? Oh no, call? Tixie's here. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, Ooh, yeah. You know what? Dixie. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, Dixie. Come on. I totally forgot that. Yeah, no, that 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 yeah. That wasn't intentional. Right over the head. Yeah. Right, over the head. <laughs> right over the head. Um, next would've episode would have been good for views, though. Yeah, would have been great for views. Ah, <laughs> oh, would have been. We could have said like we could have like I don't. It. I'm okay, so, you guys cut I, up my videos. Dixie I'm calls so Griffin. Unaware, like who we did you say that or you say? I that? did. Why? Well, you don't want to call Griffin? No. <laughs> no, I would assume well, she wouldn't have been on the phone. Josh, I, well, I would have been on the phone. Everyone it's sabotages whatever. the views here. <laughs> for real. For real. Uh, Emma Chamberlain canceled her Met Gala necklace. Emma Chamberlain has been canceled for a Cartier necklace she wore to the Met Gala that was allegedly stolen by the British from the Indian Broil. Give me a break. That's what she's supposed. To, Cartier gives you a necklace. You're supposed to do a fucking yeah, she's history stolen research it on the history of it. Yeah, like come on. I saw this too. I was like, this can't be. I feel like this can't even be a real headline. Like, who's canceling her? I that, haven't heard about. Yeah, this. me neither. Um, like I've even, I feel like we're the ones starting this. Should this fall on Emma or Cartier? It should fall probably on neither of them, but it's definitely not on Emma if yeah. it's real. Yeah, zero percent, Emma. Zero percent. Um, all right, videos to react to. Yay. Finna about to change my name to Toaster. It's the only time the women be showing up is when the bread pop out. Does he look like anyone? Do you guys? Yeah, he looks like Josh a little bit. Yeah, right? Hillbilly Josh Richards is what we were getting from that guy. Yeah, yeah, he does. He oh, had, he, I, 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 I was going on. Yeah, yeah he no, he definitely has a little why resemblance. We were watching that, but he definitely has a little resemblance. For Hillbilly sure. Josh Richards. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next I video. Guess. <laughs> oh God, what is this? <laughs> Everyone thinks Josh is like so hot and so adorable. Mm -hmm. I look at him as like my son. I think if you like didn't know him, saw him on the side no, of the street. No. Yes, you come no, on. No. You wouldn't think he's even cute. Oh, he's a, yeah, he's a handsome little boy. But would boy, you be like, oh, that I kind of want to fuck that guy. <laughs> but then I would talk to him and be like, I don't want to fuck you. Okay. <laughs> I want to help you. Okay. I want to help you. Like, I would push you in a stroller. <laughs> yeah, but literally, like, get on my back. I hate that he's, like, such a fuckboy and is never going to settle down, but whoever, yeah. like, ends up with Josh, they're going to be a lucky girl. I bet you... No, listen, this is nice, Josh. Did you hear that? Yeah, they said lucky girl. I said you'd be lucky at the end. What is that, like, coffee with, like, comedians spoof? It yeah. Well, it's, I went on Sadie Crow. She's Josh a YouTuber. Shit on for, like, 30 seconds? So Come she, on. That wasn't that big of a shit job. No, it wasn't that bad. No. It wasn't that bad. That, yeah. that was nice. Yeah, you ended yeah. it with whoever he ends up with will be good shoes. Yeah. No problem with that. We we have breaking news. <laughs> breaking news? Are you going on this podcast? No. <laughs> she said, wait, I'm looking at it. Are you going? Who's no? Who's no? Who's baby? That's Nessa's boy? burner. That's Nessa. She has a burner? Yeah. Yeah. 
Damn. Who TikTok unleash? Are you going on this podcast? No. When did that happen? Just now. Two minutes. Fifteen ago. minutes ago. That's oh. bullshit. She, listen, <laughs> guys, come on. We're gonna be able to get it on. Trust me. <laughs> I, I, I actually don't think she's gonna, but we'll see. Um, Josh work is magic. All right. Well, if she's your girlfriend already, then maybe. But uh... All right, guys, quick commercial break for one of the newest, hottest dating apps. So this is called Spark, and it's different from any other dating app because instead of swiping one by one, you see a bunch of profiles at the same time, and you pick who stands out like in real life. So say when you walk into a bar, you walk into a party, you can get a feel for who you're into, who you like, the looks of, and it's the li- just like that on Spark. So it shows you the people closest to you. You open the app at the bar, and the people you see on the grid are probably probably at the bar too. So you'll know who's single and you'll know who you can talk to. You can spend less time on apps and more time on dates. Like expires after 24 hours. So you won't wait around for weeks wondering if someone is going to message you back. It's only active profiles, which is huge. So you won't see inactive profiles of people who forgot they were on dating apps in your grid. If you're tired for swiping and want to meet cool people in your area, go to the app store and download Spark or click the link in the description. Maybe you'll see one of us on there. Let's get back to the show. All right. uh, BFFs. Weird setup today, unusual, because I'm in New York. We have our guest, uh, Cindy Kimberly, also in New York. Mm -hmm. And then, Josh, you're out there. We've been waiting. You put us kind of, I don't want to say awkward spot, Josh, but late, (laughs) like 15 minutes. So we've we've been trying not to do the interview with Cindy while she's already been here. Yeah, I'm just twiddling our thumbs here, waiting on you. Well, did you guys, like, get to make friends and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sort of. Yeah. Got your coffee. Sort of. Yeah, no, I mean, well, it's like the interview's going. We don't want to say too much. We have the sheet, which, by the way, I think is awkward because, so, Cindy, usually what we do, we have, like, all your information. No, I know. I've I've been looking at it. Yeah, so usually the guest is not with us when we're, like, reading it down, getting ready to hit you with all the stuff. Um, So, and, ooh, I... Those nails are wild on you, Cindy. (laughs) Yeah, they're pretty crazy. I don't usually wear nails like this. It was a wild. All right. So <laughs> your background is bananas. So basically, you're minding your own business and Justin Bieber just randomly posted a picture of you. Yeah. Just out of the blue, no reason at all, outside he thought you were attractive. Um, and, and then you just blew up from there? Yeah, sort of. It's actually funny because I used to have a Justin Bieber fan account throughout like my entire childhood, like from when I was like... 11 12 and i actually deleted it one week before he posted that. So, so, I, so how did that feel when justin bieber but that's not that unusual well, right most girls your age may have oh like, i had one too yeah, well, yeah, yeah like, but not all of them like had this happen well clearly. and honestly when it happened he it's not it, it wasn't the first time he posted like a random girl um he had done it before how so, often how often do you do that I, I think he did it like a few other times. There's um, one that I remember. Uh, that was kind of his move. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So my friends had this joke that like, oh, one day he was going to post me because they knew I had a fan account for him. So when it happened, all my friends were texting me and I thought that they were all pranking me. I thought <laughs> all of my friends got together and they were like, oh, we're going to prank Cindy. She deleted her Twitter. We're going to tell her that Justin Bieber posted a photo of her. So everyone was texting me and... I just literally, I didn't even bother to check Instagram because I was just so Sounds convinced fake. that they were pranking me. Um, and I actually checked Instagram like the day after and so saw you, that it was true. From there, what happened? Did you like talk to him? Uh, like, like he followed me, but I was really young. So no, nothing really happened ever. But you talked to him? Well, it's not like a trick question. You, gave me, you just gave me the up and down like I asked you a trick question. Uh, yeah, I talked to him, but I was just like really young. Nothing really happened. I've never even met him, actually. Yeah, that's, so that's what I meant. Did, he, you, did, you, like, slide, did he slide into the DMs after he posted the picture or how'd it go? I think you guys should ask him. I think you guys should get him on the podcast. If you and know how to get, get him on the, the podcast, he has an, okay. Justin Bieber has an open invite to come on BFFs. Yeah, I'm sure he'd love it. Yeah. It is kind of a weird move, though. Why wouldn't he just, like, slide into your DMs without, like, that, you must just, love like, that he did it, right? He life. launched your career. Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure. I, I like, I loved it regardless of that, because I just, 
loved him when I was younger. Yeah, no, so it was I, like exciting for me, regardless. This next page is a hatchet job <laughs> on me. Oh god. So Dave Dave also had a Justin Bieber fan account. Oh so my god. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. Yeah. I kind of did it. it again. I was very self aware when I was doing this, but I went through a phase where it's like I was mimicking everything Bieber did. Those tattoos, I went on vacation like two weeks after. That was like a henna artist that literally spent about eight hours putting all those on me. And then I went on vacation with those tattoos like three, oh two or three weeks later. This is, this is unneeded. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if it's unneeded. I think it was quite needed. <laughs> oh, that well, yeah, crazy. no, that was a phase. Listen, I was a content machine and that the, the naked photo was like in the harbor in Nantucket. Like we went, it was Gaz who works for me. Took yeah, that. the poor people on the boat. No, did front. you go like in the morning? Were you yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we were yeah. very careful. So there weren't like people around. Correct. Yeah. Okay, I mean, good. it could have been. It's a pretty big harbor, but I think we got away with it. Um, <laughs> we already asked if you ever met Justin. You're saying no. So, all right, you get posted. And then, I, I, I mean, it, it's kind of obviously like quick to say the rest is history, but it kind of seems like the rest is history. No? I guess so. Where were you living at the time? I was living in a really small town in Spain um, called Denia. It's like a 30,000 population. So did you always speak English? Uh, yeah, I mean, I learned English through music and like my fan account and movies. So, yeah. Because, I mean, you speak perfectly fluent, like you wouldn't think that you didn't grow up here. I mean, when I was younger, I always knew that I, like when I was younger, I knew I wanted to be a singer and an actress. And I knew that... I loved American culture. I loved American film and music. So I feel like I made an effort when I was younger to learn English. Okay. So what is, and, and you're here right now mm -hmm. for the SI swimsuit, which you're a rookie, but what I'm looking at this, it says you also like to be on the other side of the camera um, for things like that. So what, if you had to describe your focus right now, modeling, acting, singing, like what is it for all of it? Are you like, uh, I think all of it. I think for for a long time, I, I was trying to pick one, and I think that made my life a lot harder for like about four years. And now I've just decided that I really want to do all of them, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, we have your sheet. <laughs> oh, See, this is why the sheet we give away is tough, but we have your rumored. She just oh my goded her past relationship. Uh huh. Uh, rumored flings. Oh, okay. And you got some big dogs in here, huh? <laughs> Oh yeah. oh yeah! Oh yeah! We got Lewis time. Hamilton. Racing. Yeah, F one Lewis Hamilton. So, did you date him? No, we're just friends. Mm. What about that photo tells you? Where well, it, 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 I'm looking. I don't at know that, that arm. <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing the arm embrace. The yeah, little yeah. little. Oh oh, come here, honey. Come here. Come oh, here. that's Grab like hey, what's luggage. up? It hey, looks you? like you're I... grabbing his arm, and it says you're spotted flying to Barcelona on his private jet. Yes. Yep. But as friends. You've never gone on a trip see, with See a friends. dog walk? A dog I have walk gone on a I, I can believe. Like, I can on. believe. A private jet? Yeah. You've had, you've had friends on your private jet? With, like, a girlfriend? Exactly. Like, yeah. a, a, a girl who I, my girlfriend's so friends. So men and women can be friends? That's what you're saying? Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. I disagree. You guys, you, you guys don't think men and girl, girls can I, be friends? I guarantee you this. Unless your girlfriend's friends are on a private plane with you, you are hooking up with somebody on that plane. Or the guy wants to hook up with you. It doesn't mean you are hooking That's up. That's fine. That means you're not friends. Huh? I don't want Fair. to hook up with, like, if Josh and I fly somewhere, I'm not trying to hook up with Josh. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> no? I'd hope. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm I know that sure. we're just I, friends. I, I, I mean, <laughs> I know that. You can be all right. Well, like, friend, like you guys hooked up. I mean, you don't. No. That, mm, okay. Sure. <laughs> um, all right. Just flying. That for it. We have the picture. We'll put the picture in. Right. I mean. Okay. Pictures <laughs> worth a thousand words. Um, also been linked to Tyga after you're spotted having dinner in Beverly Hills. Um, you were also one of their music videos. Yes, that was lunch, as you can see by the sunlight. Um, mm. it was a friendly lunch to discuss me being in the music video. Who are you? Who who would you say you're more on? We're more on the romantic spectrum with. Uh, 
the picture of my actual ex boyfriend. <laughs> the bottom one? That I dated. Oh, uh, yeah. But, for two years. But Lewis or Tyga? Oh, I love this game. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> can we throw in one more? No, well, no, we're going. So, this is your boyfriend, Niels Visser. Good looking dude. Is he wearing the palm tree necklace? Yes. He is. Oh, he is. He is. Those what things, the heck? Those things are how to Josh Josh has one, yeah. How, who gave what? Miles Shear? That- yeah, Miles. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Shout out Miles. The, the, my, Manager Miles is yep. everywhere all at once. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, so you're confirming this relationship right there. You're like ex boyfriend for two years. Yeah. What was this J- Jake Paul drama? Jake. Uh- that was his. Is he? Is she Paul. in the mic enough? Sorry. Oh, sorry. I want to make sure we can hear. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not really sure. I know that around the time that I was dating him, uh, Team Ten broke up, and there was a whole. Drama yeah, that was a big with, drama. Like, the brothers and everything, but I wasn't really big on the YouTube. Got it. Drama back then, so I didn't really know what was going on. To be honest, I didn't even know that like Niels was like really famous when we were dating, and then he would just have like hundreds of young girls stop him on the street. And and did you hate that? Of, so just, no, 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 no. I just like didn't you were know because like, I, I wasn't big on like, so I didn't think? know what Team 10 was before I dated him. Why did you think they were stopping them? You just well, like, oh, it's Eventually kid. I like, like, you're like, oh, you're famous here in Team 10. But like I didn't, I had no idea who Jake before, or like Logan. But once you were starting to date him, you realized. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once yeah, I started dating yeah, him. Okay. Um, Next page. I feel like I don't want to let you see the page. I know. Go it's fine. Page. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't show her. You can't show her. Then I'll she gets ready with these answers. She gets yeah. ready with the answers. I'm this always one, ready. <laughs> this one, I, I, I probably could answer before, but I guess you were doing a bunch of videos with David Dobrik. Um, hot dub videos, all this. I, he does this with everybody, doesn't he? Sort of. Wow. Yeah. Way to call him out. <laughs> but, but he does, right? Uh, That's I mean, out, I don't know. Oh, God. Well, where you got, yeah, there's a picture of you making out underneath. That is um, not. Oh. oh I'm going to have an anxiety attack <laughs> right here, right now. <laughs> you turn bright Don't red. Do that. red. I guess yeah, you're blushing. You, was, you were spot at Coachella making out with Tim and, Timothy Chalamet? No. No. No? What, is no. that not you? You weren't spotted? That's not me. No. That is literally not me. I Why'd swear. you turn bright red? I Because... I, <laughs> Is it you? It's literally not me. I can't get a good enough life life. judge. I swear to God, on my mom's life, that is not me. Then why'd you turn bright red? Because it was like such a big deal. I don't know. Thousands, thousands of tweets saying that it was her. Like it went, mm. this went very viral. Do you know Timothy Chalamet? Are you guys friends? Yeah, we're friends, oh, but I then, don't. Then, oh, come on. <laughs> guys, that's Somebody literally Somebody should tell this girl how to lie. Okay, yeah, yeah, I Dave. Pro- where's the lie detector test line <laughs> on this one? Where's just, the lie detector? Just say I don't know. Just be like, like I, I have the craziest just be like, love. I don't know. <laughs> just lie. But there's another video of us together. Oh, <laughs> so it is you. No, that is not me. This is not you in the picture. That's have you guys me. kissed before? Huh? Have you kissed before? No. Can I ask a question? Who is Timothy Chalamet? Who? Everyone wants to kiss Timothy Chalamet. Who is he? Timothy Chalamet? Is he he's like a, he's an actor. Yes. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. I mean, every girl. I mean, I would lie and say that was me. To be honest. Yeah, Dune. I love that movie. Why would you deny this? What? <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> that was a real question. Because he's just my friend. Yeah. What Is about he... David? Did you ever yeah, kiss it's... David? No, I've never kissed David. That's. The I truth. don't think David would want to kiss me, to be honest. Uh, I. The, the, the two answers of no, I didn't kiss him, though, they were a little different on the lie detector. One was, like, one was an emphatic yeah. no, and one yeah. was I don't believe her. Yeah, definitely yeah. didn't kiss David. Correct. Maybe kiss no, Timothy. Maybe no, on the no, Chalamet. No, 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 no. no. I, what else? Do, so, Sports Illustrated. <laughs> Tell me all about Sports Illustrated. <laughs> um, oh, wait. Never mind. There's drama around it. That's why. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet was tied to another model, Sarah Tabai, during Co- Coachella weekend. <laughs> Ah. Who asked to come on BFFs to discuss what went down? Sarah told page six. All time statement. She put out a statement. Please redirect your frustration to the fact that air pollution from fossil fuels costs the world $8 billion every day, not to mention putting human life and planet Earth at risk. She said in a statement, the Earth is in dire state 
So come on, comment on email and write to our political leaders, letting them know that the fossil fuel industry is morally unacceptable. It will not stay silent while our plan is being destroyed. It sounds like our guest from last week. <laughs> wow. Gabby, she, Hannah? Hit, she just... She literally just hit us with the little let's make Earth a better place disc. That's she Sarah. Now I today. understand. So there's drama around why it could have been, yep. blah, blah, blah. I am assuming, and we'll move on to the Sports Illustrated, whoever this is, whether it's you or not, there's pictures of you, I assume, at Coachella and what you're wearing. So I, I yeah. never wore that. Right. So that would exactly. back your Debunk case. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't, wasn't her. All right. No outfit changes? No outfit changes. No, you're not going to like the next page either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel bad going. It's harder. When I right know. Here. The sweetest guest and we're just hammering her. No, it's it's he makes over there. The yeah. Sheets. It's like we don't. You know We what? just get the sheets before. I might before. as well right. just get to the bottom of everything. All right. right. Okay. Have some beer drama. Mm-hmm. So you were rumored. Uh, you were twerking in front of Zach Bia, who's, by the way, one of the all-time mysteries to me of all time. I know he's a mystery to everybody. Yeah, because he's a real celebrity now. Y- and he's um, like A-list. Oh yeah. A above. <laughs> above, yeah. He's above uh, an A-list. He, I think he's I a think celebrity to the A-listers. Yeah, Why? which is crazy. Every like Drake loves him. Everyone wants to hang out with him all the time. Your celebrity's they all favorite post celebrity. Him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. We had him on the show. Oh, you did? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And oh, I maybe. said to mm-hmm. his face, like, I don't know why girls like you. Like, you're an okay looking dude. You're not like Brad Pitt or like. Is he like the funniest guy in the world? No, I've met him. <laughs> I don't know. I've He's known nice. Zach. Yeah. I've known Zach since I was, um, I think, 17. By the way, I like him. I always end up trash just because I don't get, like, there's some yeah, guys like does. Timothy Chalamet. I'm like, oh, he's in Dune. He's this. It's like, Zach, Zach B is yeah. like DJing at, like, fucking. What's the place the like uh, H Eleven group? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and he I got me know. into a place with a shooting. So I, I like know. Zach. I wouldn't know. I've never those you, pictures that came out with Zach are cut out in a very specific way because there was more people with us. Um, yeah, someone who he was seeing that happened to be one of my friends. I've never really talked to Zach. I don't really know why. I mean, okay, That's this a, video. I don't. I'm I don't twerking think it's that bad. on stars. Me and Saws are dancing. I, this is insane. <laughs> um, me and Saws are literally twerking together, looking at ourselves in a mirror. There's like that's there the was, video people got mad about. Yeah, there's. See, I'm on your side. We're there was very definitely, hey, you even by looking. the way, at least twenty other people in the room. the The video just happens to frame me and Saws and Zach. But nothing happened there. You weren't twerking on him. No, no, no that, nothing's that, ever happened. That yeah, was some sort of people got mad twerking. On yeah, him. you got set up on that one. Yeah, for sure. All right, so that was easy. So there should be no drama there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is like the one thing. We well, no, I, I call it as I see it. That that was absolutely like nothing to get mad about. Um, where are my saucy rumor? Where are my saucy baby rumors? <laughs> since I did dance on her. That like you 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 guys are yeah no I don't know why <laughs> yeah you should have that. rumors about you two hooking up yeah okay so now into more of the stuff that you were saying the SI rookie all of that releasing new music soon and clothing brand so you're yeah. doing a lot of stuff everything. Where do you live now? Where's See, like home I base? have so much going on. I have no time to be talking to any of these people you guys brought up. Well, I agree with all of it, but you went to Coachella. This is so <laughs> insane. <laughs> Did go to Coachella. That is a good fact. Okay. So Sports Illustrated. Yes. So tell me about that. How's that experience been? Um, I mean, really, really insane. I feel I used to like I used to be a big internet person. Like I was deep and Twitter and Tumblr, and I I feel like I always watch the Sports Illustrated rookies come out every year. And I was a big Barbara Palvin fan when I was younger, and she would always do Sports Illustrated. I think of her as Victoria's Secret. I don't even know who that is. You don't know who Barbara Palvin is? No, you don't either, Josh. Step your game up. I'm sure if we saw her, maybe we'd recognize her. I think I saw her in a CVS in New York, actually. Oh. Ah, was she wearing a a swimsuit? No. She wasn't. Fuck, Mary kill. <laughs> this is going to be easy. I could answer your fuck, Mary kills for you, I think. We're pulling up, pull up Barbara Palvin so they see her. Oh, okay. I, I know her but face. But that's Force Illustrated in the neon bikini. Yeah, so. <clears throat> do, do you want to be a Victoria's Secret model? Uh, I mean, Angel. obviously, like, I would love that. Um, 
but I'm just happy to do anything that comes my way. I feel like for the next few years, I kind of want to focus more on music and acting, but I would love to do any opportunities that show up for me. And you, you're like all these people that we've mentioned here, you're pretty connected in the center of like, you say you're not an internet. You know, well, everybody. That's, that's good. I think that's good. Is, like even for your profession, isn't that good? Like people talking about you and being in the news sort of? For sure, but I think that I have other things that I would rather have talked about um, than my love life or who I'm seeing or who I'm friends with. But that comes with being a celebrity. <clears throat> yeah. Like oh, Josh, boy. I mean, that's how he started off he, every week. It's like <laughs> who he's been seen with. Yep. Like you, it's almost in your world, like actress, singer, I know, but model. I don't want... Um, I think as a woman to be, to feel like the reason people are talking about me is because of a man. That's so fair. I don't really like. But I don't know that that's either because we like using Josh as an example, like a lot of people talk about, I think it go either way. Like people talk guys who they're with celebrities or, and I don't even think that's new. I think they're like paparazzi like forever. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I think. Obviously, certain things come with being in the public eye and you can't really avoid it. But I think uh, there's so many things that I want to do that I don't feel like I've put out yet or talked about yet because I'm still working on them. That I feel like it's kind of being overshadowed by these things that like I don't feel like are as relevant to me as me as the yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know? So like what? So obviously, we just mentioned the music. Do you know have like a date for that? I don't have a date, but what kind of music is it? Want to sing it's... us a song? <laughs> it's uh... I could like lay a beat if you need me to, mm -hmm. like a little beatboxing. <laughs> oh my god, no, no way! <laughs> um, it's very experimental. It's something that like I wouldn't necessarily categorize as one specific thing. It's kind of a mix of a few things that I love and I definitely I want to be a writer and a director in the future so I, th I think that's definitely For movies? yeah I definitely think I'm putting that into my music and I one of my biggest focuses is like telling a story through music um can I put you on the spot with a question okay well I guess we already have this this one <laughs> to me is more being put on the spot but like what are some of your favorite movies um, I actually have a list. Okay, perfect. You want me to pull yes, it out? Yes, yes. All right. How long is this list? Hmm. It's like a hundred. Oh, no, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a bit much, but. Give us like your top, top five. Yeah. yeah, top five yeah, movies. Top 10, so top every five. time you see a movie that you're like, oh, this is list worthy? Uh, How long has the list been running for? I have that for people like I hate. A <laughs> like a favorite, uh, like maybe, I think. So Requiem for a Dream is up there. Perfect Blue. Frida, Howl's Moving Castle. I don't know a lot of these movies. <clears throat> I don't know Dark any Knight. of them, really. I know Frida. Dark Knight, great oh, movie. Oh, come on. Oh, Dark yeah. Knight, awesome. Um, Banger. Uh, Memento, Girl Interrupted, Kill Bill. Kill Bill, great. Uh, That's actually a good, like, icebreaker. You probably find out if you get Gone along with yeah. I like movie. Gone, Gone Girl. Girl. Yeah, good. Okay. Good I like that. I respect that, the list. Yeah, it's a mix of a bunch. Yeah. Okay. Before we let you go, okay. is there anything we miss? Anything you want to promote? Make sure people are aware of you. Um, I don't know. It seems like you guys know me better than I know myself. Well, so. you weren't overly forthcoming with a lot of the information. We had to drag it out of you. It's weird mm -hmm. because you are like very much in the mix, but you don't seem to love being in the mix. Well, she didn't ask Justin Bieber to post her. Kind of just came to no, you. No, but... This woman, whoever this is, did make out with Shalme and is with Zach Bia and the Madison Beer drama and lives with Chantel Jeffries. And like, there's a lot of things. And is in a hot tub with David Dobrik. Like, you don't go in that unless you're in the mix. Um, uh, I think I'm in the mix. I think I just <laughs> don't want my, I don't want the people, I don't want the thing that people talk about when it comes to me be my love life. I think I have much more to offer. Yeah, but that a lot of the things we just listed are not like love life things. Like I don't think the hut the hut tub's just making content to me and the like don't I don't unless I'm off. Like that's just you know, get your name out there. But and I do think it's like both ways. I don't think it's just you know, female to male or male to female. Anybody well, who's well known and attractive, they talk that. about your ding life. 
Correct. I can vouch for what the, was your favorite the people talking about our relationship. So. Like a lot of celebrities <laughs> would kill for that. I mean, I guess, but uh, it's well connected. Yeah, I just feel like I maybe I will feel more comfortable with all of this once I feel like I have something that I feel reflected by in the public eye, whether that's my music or art or anything like that. So then <clears throat> would you like just being a straight like you're doing the swimsuit and I'll wrap it up. But like, do you mm -hmm. consider that just straight modeling? Are you comfortable with that? I mean, yeah, I've been doing modeling. Since right, I was so 16. that's what I'm saying. I'm looking at your cover of GQ, Maxim, all these magazines. Mm -hmm. You get the sports like that's <laughs> something, no? Yeah, no, absolutely. But I just feel like right now it's being overshadowed. Like, look at how much we talked about that and Sports Illustrated compared to my love life. Because it's more interesting. But that's like. Not you personally, so why? but Is that's a when that's life just only interesting when it involves a man. Well, no, it can be anything, but it's like, well, you could be in love with a woman and we'd still talk about it. Or it I could, could, but you guys haven't asked me. Are you in love with a you woman? You guys haven't asked me are about love any with women. women. I've been, are you in love I've with a been woman? seen next to so many women because these photos are just me sitting next to people. Where? So. Me at an airport. I've been to an airport with multiple <laughs> well, yeah, of my Hamilton's girlfriends. Like... I've been to lunch with girls before. I've taken selfies with girls before. Okay. Um, so if we have some... Wait, so, so, so this are you, is not do you me. like women? Is and that what you're saying? I've been in a hot tub with girls. If you don't think I am going to research the fuck you out research of this it. picture. It's literally not me. Okay. She says not her. It's we'll not say. me. And I feel like we've been pretty fair. It's like, tell us everything that you want to tell us about, like your career, mm -hmm. singing, all of it. Okay, amazing. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> there it is. I'm going to like... <laughs> anxiety attack coming I've, on now. I've just had anxiety for the past 30 minutes. So anything that I taught, that I wanted to talk about... Like what? Once I started seeing the pages, I was like... Well, I said we my don't want the pages. My mind went blank. <laughs> you, you can wrap up. If there's anything you want to throw in before we wrap, now's the time. Um, yeah, I have music coming out soon. I, asked I have about that. my clothing brand coming out What's next year. Loba. Loba? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? What kind of clothes is it? Um, it's just ready to wear. Uh, and Loba means wolf in Spanish. Oh, because you like Teen Wolf oh, okay. growing up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that on your list? Uh, on my list of what? Movies. Uh, no, because it's not a movie. It's a show. I, it was it's a, a show. It's a TV show. I've actually never seen the original movie. Sorry. I mean, it's a movie. Let's just clarify that. <laughs> it's like Michael J. Fox, Teen Wolf is 1,000% a movie. So yeah yeah, 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 but you were a fan of the show. I was a fan of the show. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. There it is. Thank Perfect. you, Cindy. Good luck Thank with you. all of it. Look forward to the music. Um, okay. We won't ask you until you're on next time about Great. Any, and then I will research that photo. So. <laughs> All right, sweet. <laughs> Thank you. All right, see you, Thank Josh. You. <laughs>